Pick a card messages to get you through tough times. Pile number one. Pile number two. And pile number three. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hi friends, my name is Griselle with Psychic MD. I'm here to do another reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope that you find something that's helpful or amusing. And for those of you that are repeat offenders, thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to go ahead and open up this reading with an intention. I haven't done that in a little bit. So go ahead and make your intention. And we'll just add it to mine because why not? Because we can do what we want, right? Go ahead and make that intention clear. Picture it in your mind. Hold it there for a moment. And let's do this. Perfect. Today we're going to be using the Goddess Power. It's an Oracle deck by Colette Baron. And let's get this baby out of the way, actually. Get this more centered. There we go. So as per usual, we're going to go ahead and pick three cards to make those our little choosing platform. And we're going to find out what messages can get you personally through your tough times. So pile number one and like a card for your tough time. And that is going to be this. And I'm going to pronounce the heck out of it like wrong, but that's okay. Artemis focus. So there's pile number one, pile number two. What you got? Aryan hood? Hmm. Okay. And pile number three. Aphrodite. Make your selection. And I will see you at your pile. Hi, Pat Wallen. If you chose Artemis, focus, this message is for you. So if you've been going through a hard time, then I wanted to just do a little reading to kind of help us all out. And if you missed my intro, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And for those of you that are repeat offenders, thank you so much for showing up. Messages to get you through tough times. And you chose Artemis. Mm. Show me what I need to see for pile number one, please. Show me what I see. And show me now two cards, please. And go with two right here. And first of all, focus. So obviously, um, this card right here just pictures, it's almost like she's a huntress, but she has her focus, she set her goal, her target, and she's not looking to hit anything except what she's looking at and aiming for. So I would ask you at this time, is there something that you kind of have a desire for, a wish for, but you haven't really centered your aim on? Um, with the focus word down here, it just kind of feels like maybe perhaps you're a little bit distracted or not super committed, um, and I can relate to all those things. With the number four, I feel like this will come in um, to more of a fruition for you and a more of a reality if you kind of set the four corners or um, the foundation for whatever it is that you want to manifest or whatever it is that you need to work through to overcome and what is your ultimate goal. So setting a clear goal is going to be great for you at this point in time that'll tell spirit that you have a clear focus and not you won't get like jumbled messages and um <clears throat> like mixed reviews i'm hearing <laughs> but yeah mixed uh <clears throat> responses yeah sun essence and personality so this with the number four kid actually have to do with your establishment your home your foundation on any level 
um, that you might be going through a tough time and your essence and personality can be called into question at this point in time. Maybe you're even uh, questioning yourself. It's like, am I putting on a facade of happiness for other people? Check that out. Can't make that up. You saw me mix it. So home and family. <clears throat> yeah. So even though you're putting up a front for um, those that reside in your home, you know, those family members, are you trying to be like, I got this, everything's okay. And I mean, we can all do this from time to time, but sometimes if you're like deeply unfulfilled, um, it's gonna really take its toll on you. It's gonna kind of leave you feeling listless and kind of hopeless and almost like apathetic, okay? It's gonna be really, that's why it's important to get a really pinpoint like idea of what it is that you want and go for it and develop like a plan and also, um, how are you going to execute that plan? Like little baby steps following, uh, following that plan. So maybe planning, um, the goal would be <clears throat> at the center of the map, your bullseye and then work backwards. Okay. Like, you know, for example, you want to open up a fitness facility or you want to work independently as uh, I don't know, like uh, an Etsy seller or whatever. And you want to work backwards and think, okay, well, I have this, what is my product? Great. Well, I have that. How much of my product do I need? and so on and so forth and work backwards and get as many details on paper as you can. I feel like this is a really good time for you to manifest in spite of how you are feeling. So please know that uh, in spite of how you're feeling, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, this might be a really great time for you to get out and get a little bit of sun. <clears throat> Lecturing myself, there's a ton of sun here and here I'm indoors, <clears throat> but um, essence and personality is at stake here. And usually with the sun card, this is like all about the yes. But I also feel like you need to bring things into the light, into the forefront. Once you get a clear aim on what it is that you want. <clears throat> I'm having a really hard time speaking. So maybe you're having a hard time articulating to those around you in your family um, or close family, you know, friends, family, things like that, like what it is that you want, what it is that you're attempting to do. And that can be an issue within itself. If you can't really articulate things because maybe um, whatever it is that you desire is in opposition to what the family wants or it's not, it's in direct conflict some way, somehow. Um, like say, for example, you want your freedom. So, um, or you wanna go on this entrepreneur journey or whatever the case is and your family depends on that income it's going to be really difficult to bring up that conversation people will likely freak out especially if you're like the main breadwinner but there are other things that you can do for example if there are different you know other adults living in the home front um, they can also pitch in and contribute to the household if they're not doing so already um, downsizing might be an option or um, you know, having other people like pitch in, help you out and whatever this is. So only you know exactly what that is, but I feel like it has a lot to do with sunlight. Some of you guys can even be thinking about bees. I don't know why I was thinking about that, but some of you guys could be thinking about bees and making honey, um, growing sunflowers or growing some kind of a crop or, um, <clears throat> what is that called? It's, uh, not microdosing, but maybe some of you guys are into that. I don't know. So there's a lot of different things that this can be addressing, but basically it definitely will affect your foundation. I feel like there's a lot of fear affiliated with it. So if you just bring it to light and then ask people for support, I think that you would be surprised at how this would manifest. I think that maybe a lot of people all send them like fearing, I'm fearing, um, almost like a rejection or a mockery or like maybe friends and family would be like, ha ha, you know, you, um, that's called a hobby, not a job or whatever. I've been told that many times. <laughs> so that could be something that maybe why you're having a hard time, like voicing what it is that you desire, what it is that you want. So I have right here, this is kind of cool, huh? The six of cups, what deck is this? The cosmic coven tarot. So this beautiful deck just talks about how she is really communing with the cosmos. 
um, I think about the color indigo and how, um, some, well, some things portray like your crown chakra as indigo. So this could be about your spirituality, wanting to manifest out, wanting to even sage the world. Maybe you're trying to like cleanse the world, or maybe you want to be like a healer, holistic healer. I don't know your life, but, um, this is definitely, oh, did I say six of wands did i say cups i'm not sure what i said but um this is all wands so the six of wands is about people recognizing that you have like been through some kind of a battle and a hardship and you being kind of lifted up in a in celebration for lack of a better way of saying it people kind of like rejoicing with you and saying hey you like made it or you're doing it or whatever steps that you make towards this goal means you're doing it uh, and you got to believe that like most people sit on their doves and they, they don't um they don't do anything they just think about things and it's like wouldn't it be great if I was an actor or an actress or wouldn't it be great if I worked for an airline or wouldn't it be great if I opened up a massage I don't know business or anything wouldn't it be great if I got back into painting or drawing all of these like lofty goals but if not one step is taken it's just a pipe dream and we can dream and dream and just sit and watch TV and not really pursue anything. Or we can really funnel and channel that energy into something that at least gives you joy and it gives you an opportunity to soar and do what it is that you love. So I encourage you cut back on whatever it is that's sucking up your time, that's making you feel listless and mindless and apathetic, um, if you can relate to any of those things and funnel it into what you love. Because even with the sunflower here, I just have like extreme positive um, omen right here <clears throat> and of course with the sun itself so the fourth house home and family if you are going through a tough time pile number one what can help pile number one if they're going through this tough time please and show me now oh. moving so yeah moving in some way somehow um and this could be moving towards something and, and whenever you're moving towards something i mean logically speaking you're moving away from something else so the example i gave earlier let's say like you're giving up watching sports uh, every sunday so that maybe you can dedicate time to making your own brew or making your own mead or um harvesting your herb or whatever the case may be whatever your goal and your dream is you're leaving one thing and setting off on a rainbow and it's i feel like um it's a rainbow it's like to find the pot at the end of the rainbow you know but this is leaving with your um with your little boat here and all of these and there's another six reference here too so two sixes could have meaning to you you could be seeing that everywhere um but i'm gonna say that a lot of these are like intellectual things or experiences that you've undergone and you're gonna take everything with you if you were a manager if you were um i heard the word grunts if you were one of the grunts if you were a day laborer if you were you know flipping burgers it doesn't make a difference all of those are mad skills that add up especially if you've been somebody who's a jack of all trades they really do add up and i feel like if you kind of broaden your vision and stop listening to naysayers you're going to find a way to be able to move away from stagnation into prosperity and that's going to happen quite soon so don't forget that all of your experiences happen for a reason some of us are ashamed of things that we've done but regardless of what we have and haven't done it's all an experience and you glean from it whatever it is that you choose to take so i encourage you to try to kind of look on a deeper level of all of your skills and maybe even write those down down, write down you know I'm really good with remembering people's orders when, when I'm waiting tables and I have a great personality and they really enjoy and they request my section whatever the case may be or I do great hair and they love this and that and just kind of make a huge list and I feel like that's gonna be a great tool for you to be able to move forward on this and that's gonna help you um, with your focus as well and I'm hearing the word valor, okay? So it's going to take a lot of bravery for you to do this, but you will definitely um, feel so much better and make movement and also move towards calmer waters and not be as turbulent within yourself, within your heart, because you're doing something that you really don't like or you feel like you're not making any progress. All those things make me really struggle internally, like just with my heart. <laughs> Okay, messages for pile number one. If you're liking these kind of messages, please do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. 
messages for pile one, getting through tough times. What else do we need to know specifically about the fourth house? Hello. All right. <clears throat> yep, we have the five of pentacles that landed on its side. So you could feel like, well, I have the money and I don't, or I'm in the dark and I don't, and things like that. You could oscillate between like, I can do this and no, I cannot, and it's overwhelming. And I feel like that's being... Uh, because you're in your head too much. So get out of your head and just start making small steps. And um, and pretty soon those small steps are going to add up to really big things in your life that at the very least will give you self-esteem because you're making progress or you're making an effort and you'll be able to fine tune that vision, that dream that you have to be able to move forward. Okay. And as far as your household, I feel like um, this could be also like leaving people in the dark about what you really want because of money and look right here we have the ten of pentacles and again this is about family loyalty on her inheritance <laughs> um i'm laughing because i picture like porky uh, porky pig is it he would try to say one word and come up with a totally different word and i feel like sometimes i do that when i can't think of how to pronounce it <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, but this has everything to do with your family, your lineage, your inheritance, and your ability to leave an inheritance or a legacy behind as well. So you go back and forth on that, and you're like, is this really like the rainbow? Here's the rainbow down here. Is that really going to be consistent? And it's a lot of second guessing. Yeah, and the Page of Pentacles is like, hey, I'm going to deposit a little bit of time, energy, and effort into this. And you waffle back and forth, but I feel like you dream about it more than you act on it. And I promise you, if you kind of embody this lady right here, let's see if we can get her to get Yep, coming clear. Um, I feel like you're just gonna be so proud of yourself and so impressed with your um, improvement, your movement, the things that you learn. And it's just gonna be like a whole new world for you. And I feel like it'll open up your heart and your spirit as well. And you will be so much happier. Even if that thing that you were aiming for winds up getting a little bit tweaked or modified or adjusted, um, but just simply making steps towards it will make your heart feel happier. So I hope that that helped you. Pile number one. Until next time. Namaste. Hi, pile number two. If you chose Arianod, Todd, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This message is for you. I am going to ring the bell just to cleanse the energy real quick. And three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to find out, pile number two, the messages that you need to get through this tough time and whatever this tough time means to you. Pile number two, show me what I need to see. Two cards for pile number two. What is it that pile number two needs to know to help them get through this tough time? And show me now two cards. I'm feeling this. So we have time right here. Venus, love and beauty. Okay. And Lilith, wild femininity. Very cool. All right, you guys. So um, I did not know anything about this particular goddess, but this is talking about how time is on your side and um i love how you know a lot of us especially in society are like oh i don't have time for that and you know I, i'm the first one to do that <laughs> i'm guilty of that myself but whatever your intentionality is at this time it's kind of funny how we keep talking about time um in your messages about time but you have all the time in the world because time is on your side. So I don't know if somebody has gotten laid off and it sounds really ironic to even say, hopefully that's not the case, but uh, whatever time that you find um, on your hands is sufficient for you to move forward in whatever it is that you're desiring, okay? You may be feeling like you don't have time, like maybe it's to do some self-care, some love and beauty, uh, rituals for yourself or focus on love or focusing on like photography and um, and beautiful landscapes or 
portrait, whatever the case may be. So it could be any number of things for any number of people. And this wild femininity really to me kind of just really ties into love and beauty. It just, I wonder if this is just about celebrating you and all of us have masculine and feminine, um, even the most macho guys. <laughs> So I'm addressing all of you. I don't think many men watch my channel, but regardless, here we are. So wild femininity. And um, I really like this because this even talks about the, quote, dark side of things. Um, and I think it's important to really address everything that, you know, a female is or the feminine side of us is. And I think it's really interesting also that we... Um, you know, that we have kind of a structure that's given us by the media, by television, by, you know, friends, family, whatever, like a beauty criteria. And a lot of us don't match up to that. A lot of us don't look like what the magazines look like. And we spend our lives kind of chasing that figure and chasing that butt or that sounds weird, but, you know, chasing the look overall, whatever the case may be. And um, this is just... I feel like a point to embrace whatever it is that is wild and different about you. If you love hiking, if you love working out, if you love running, jogging, um, cosplay, LARPing, I don't know, face painting, whatever your deal is, to really indulge and enjoy yourself doing just that. Because I feel like doing that brings out your personal beauty more so than anything else following any other trends. But also, it's a nod and it's... um. Um, I don't want to say an urgency, but yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of what it is that you're eating. Uh, I know I've been super guilty, especially when my kid was young, of uh, kind of eating whatever was on hand because um, I was busy with a kid and a full-time job and I was overwhelmed and a single mom and uh, trying to make it all work. And like eating was the last thing on my list, but really self-care was the last thing on my list. I didn't really care as long as my son was thriving. And so you could be a part of that culture. Um, and now is a time, like whatever time you have, you know, if you're still having little young ones and whatnot, being able to take, you know, 20 minutes for yourself and take a real shower. I struggle with all of those things. So um, no judgment here. Bottom of the deck for pile number two here. So this is, is that the four? Yeah. Oh yeah, the four of wands. This is about home. Interesting. You might have a message in pile number one as well. But this is about stability. Four of wands is about throwing in your lot with other people. And maybe you're trying to beautify your home. Maybe you're somebody who is a house flipper or you're renovating your home. You're redecorating. Maybe you are um, somebody who does like clothing for the runways and things like that. So whatever the, the case may be. Coco, stop. Come on. Um, this has everything to do with... Uh, you know, your home and an establishment. And <laughs> we spend a lot of time at, at work, so it could even reference your work as well. Let's see, messages to get you through these tough times. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you may be just feeling really tired and run down and not having any time for yourself. And um, whew, do I feel that? And I think for me, breathing techniques definitely help and, um, Maybe some simple yoga, you know, poses. Those always like help me when I'm stressed out. Messages to help you get through tough times. Pile number two, show me now. <laughs> Temperance. If you can hear that back in the background, that is my dog. In fact, um, he is standing in front of the bathroom going, Brr. so <laughs> maybe this is uh, even a, a nod to you being able to take like a really nice bath with so soaking um, salts, Epsom salts and things like that. Um, and having some candles lit, just really doing some self care after getting a massage or something like that. Temperance, so this is about balance. You need more balance in your life that way you'll feel less burdened, less overwhelmed, less exhausted. And also you're gonna fuel yourself with more energy. I feel like more energized. Um, Coco, stop. 
there's nothing in that bathroom and I don't know what he's doing. He's never done that before, by the way. So I'm um, temperance also, this is about healing. So it's a time for you, yeah, to set aside some time for you to heal, whether it's journaling, getting a facial, um, doing um, Ayurvedic like massage on yourself. I, I've done that too. You can look that up. I forget what it's called. Is it Bananka? Bianca? something like that but anyways if i remember i'll post it in the bottom for you guys in the comments um but self-care and it is a time to heal and know that you do have time in spite of thinking hey i don't have this time you definitely do make a little time um and let people know hey this is my time and uh with my son i'd have to do that i'd be like yep this is mommy's time so you need to do you know whatever else so i can get a little bit of me time in Messages to get you through. Top times for power number two. Show me now. I heard shut off your phone. And this was actually like being referenced before I started shuffling. I did see it. But here she is again. Queen of Swords. Cut off everything. That doesn't help you. Make you feel at peace. That doesn't heal. That isn't growing. That is not in touch with your wild femininity. That isn't in touch with love and beauty okay so whatever this is if you're like on the dating scene things like that or if you're trying to court somebody or trying to win over uh your wife or husband once again whatever your deal is it is time to kind of cut through all of the things that haven't worked in the past um including like i heard self-deprecating um making comments about yourself self-talk is going to be the the top thing to change right now and I really struggle in this area too so I know how that feels but if you really can kind of clean up the self-talk and flip it to where it's all positive I feel like this is going to be a lot easier for you uh, to navigate and move through why is it so difficult for you to love yourself pile number two I feel like there's a difficulty in loving myself and I'm kind of looking out the window like I usually do when I'm doing readings and I'm seeing these really huge dynamis like cat eyes almost and so you could have a cat that's always watching you or um or you could be said to have cat eyes or something about like you know because cats are like mysterious or holders of secrets but they're also healers so that could be something special for someone out here so now we have the two of wands. There's a time to make a decision, a decision factor. And we have Daddy Saturn here, um, you know, kind of laying down the law. I just saw 1010 when I happen to look down. So number two could be important or 210 or 1010 could be a really big deal for you. Um, all of those things could be just like verification or confirmation that what you're thinking of is totally true and what I feel like with um, daddy Saturn here this is going to talk about in order for you to make a proper choice you need to kind of lay a firm foundation on steps that you're actually really going to take and do it quickly because even with this time you have time um it's going to be important to move the time is now it's not to kind of think well I have all the time in the world that's not what we're referencing right here the time is now with movement with orderly decisions with kind of making some lists and preparation and things like that choose what it is that you want to do or how you want to move forward or where you want to go because the time is right now so whatever this is you can actually totally do it I really feel like um, spirit God angels whomever would not put things on your heart um, in such a way that you keep kind of repeating or coming back to the same point if it wasn't meant for you Okay, so if you, for example, are really wanting to be a designer or you love uh, the modality of healing and you don't necessarily want to do like Western medicine, like be a doctor or a naturopathic or an acupuncturist or uh, whatever the case may be, it could be that you look into like herbs and things like that to pursue that or energy work, Reiki, whatever else. Okay messages to get you through tough times for pile number two what is going to help pile number two here pile number two anything else that's helpful and show me now i'm taking these that's a lot and i almost wow this is wild so just <laughs> wow 
I heard, uh, is it Bruno Mars? Like a grenade. That's funny. Um, but just like you saw my camera go all cattywampus and crazy, you, wow, yeah, major changes. So you could be feeling like everything would completely change if you were to kind of pursue this and uh, maybe you, you know, work at a restaurant or whatever the case may be and you want to go into beauty industry or be a um, makeup influencer or style influencer, I don't know, but it would be a major change and you might feel like you might rock the boat or kind of like freak everybody out around you. Your foundations might fall and that's something that you might be feeling, but you need to get a different perspective and the way the rainbow goes, and this is ultimate enlightenment. This is a hangman getting a different perspective. Um, and this is like taking a pause just to really glean. It's like, how far have I come and what it is, what is it that I want and who's in my way? I feel like there could be people standing in your way saying, no, you can't do this. Well, that's not how it's done. Don't you know that you have to follow a certain protocol or a certain way of doing things and in, um, in our family or in America or wherever it is that you live, we have to do things a certain way. If you live, you know, in different countries, they take care of the entire family. Um, you know, meaning the, the kids, the grandparents, the great, great grandparents and so on and so forth. And this could be something that you might decide to buck. I don't know your life, but then we have justice. This is coming into a balance. And with all these like heavy hitting um, things, it's like taking care of you first, because I feel like you've been taking care of everybody else and people are used to it and people will exploit you if you allow it. I've been there like for many, many, many years. And so, um, you know, your employers, family, friends, whatever the case may be, get used to uh, you kind of being there or giving things your all and not taking care of you. Um, but when you turn around, there's no one that's there really taking care of you. So you need to really be responsible for bringing in this balance. And I feel like um, justice is on your side and things will come into a balance very, very soon. Yeah. What the heck? King of Wands. So this is about having that fire, that passion once again. And maybe if you haven't had it in a long time, um, I feel like it is going to come to you if you take those, quote, simple steps. I realize that those steps are monumental. Those steps even knock down my tripod. <laughs> So yeah, this is a mover and a shaker. This is a business owner. This is a manager. This is, uh, um, I heard multi-marketing. So, and your fortune will definitely improve as well as your health, your emotions, all of it is going to be on the up and up. So with that pile two, if you like these messages, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you are feeling about these things. If you're brave enough, if not, I'm going to continue doing me. Love you much. Till next time. Namaste. Hi, pile three. If you chose this pile, then this reading is for you. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy by ringing a bell in three, two, one. All right. Pal 3, my name is Crystal, Psychic MD. If you missed the intro, I'm here to do your reading and you chose Aphrodite. For those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping in. And for those of you that are repeat offenders, welcome, welcome. Hope everything, everybody receives exactly what it is that you came here for. That was really hard to say. You're welcome. Aphrodite, so you chose romantic love. And I mean, like, honestly, out of all of these, this one stunned me the most because I was like, whoo, she is fierce looking. Like in the hair and all the pink. I'm not usually a pink person, but I'm liking this. And um, Aphrodite, romantic love. So you could be really focused on your love life. I'm guessing a lot of you guys are single. And if not, you're wanting to kind of revamp and reawaken your romantic life. Um, things could have been in dormant for a long time. Pa um, pile number three, you've got this uh, number two here. I feel like all about like embracing your personal power. But first of all, I definitely have to address the elephant in the room. And I'm going to say that even this reading talks about you falling in love with you, you falling in love with your life. Um, all of it, good, the bad, the ugly. Not everything is going to be picture perfect. Not everything is going to be as polished as this lady looks here. Um, you know, for example, it's really, really hot where I'm shooting. And no, I'm not in Arizona anymore. Thank goodness. 
but it's still really hot. <laughs> And uh, I'm perspiring. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, I'm, I'm not even glowing. I'm sweating, guys. But uh, life isn't, you know, nothing's perfect. But I'm content and I get to look at trees. And I'm surrounded by people that I really love and vice versa, I hope, anyways. <laughs> but uh, celebrating the little things. I have a dog that doesn't really want to cuddle with me anymore. But, I mean, he's still here and he's fun to play with. And... There's a lot of things that you can celebrate, okay? So one thing I'm gonna say is that um, I'm looking at her shoulder and that keeps standing out to me. And I feel like when I look at the shoulder, I think chip on the shoulder. So you could be viewed as somebody who has a chip on their shoulder or somebody that's really difficult to get to know or somebody that's hard to approach or somebody who's so confident that they wind up being intimidating. Um, and this could not be really true about you guys, but it could feel like that to other people or other people perceive it to be so. Um, or some of it could be true. I mean, like, I don't know your life, right? Uh, something about your hair could be really different. You could really have like stunning um, eyes as well. I feel like people could actually look at you and kind of give you the side eye, not in the bad way, but kind of glance at you from the side, like, so you won't notice them looking at you kind of a thing. Yeah. And with all of this pink back here, I feel like you are definitely like ready for love. If you thought that you were before and you haven't found a partner, well, I feel like this has a lot to do with giving back to yourself, pouring into yourself, accepting um, yourself and, and working on um, maybe your shadow side, if you guys are light workers and things like that, working with energy, you would know about that. So I feel like this could be referencing a lot of those things. But I also feel like she's tilting her head, almost like what you got to say. <laughs> I don't know where the ghetto in me comes out because, uh, well, I was raised in Stockton, okay? Stockton, California. Um, I just fessed up to that. But yeah, so that could be a little bit ghetto. Well, it's more like gangster than ghetto, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so Aphrodite, love, romantic love is here. And if you've been going through a hard time with your love life, in your love life, for, you know, partner, not partner, whatever the case may be, then this reading is for you. Moving on. Good grief. That was long. Hi. So we're taking that card. Show me what I need to see. Messages to get you through tough times. And they just all jump out. Good grief. Okay, I guess we're taking them all because we did in the other two. So, the Knight of Cups. I feel like somebody wants to give you an offer or somebody has given you an offer, okay? And the Knight of Cups is not the most stable. Knight of Cups tends to be a little bit more like in love with love. And you got to be really careful with that offer because um, a Knight of Cups is so enamorado so in love with love that they could kind of the minute they glance away they fall in love elsewhere okay but you could be getting an offer of love right here <clears throat> and maybe that's what's put you a little bit on the yeah let me hear what you have to say and you have options pile number three you have a lot of options <clears throat> a lot of options um also uh people can know that you have a lot of options that could be intimidating within itself but ooh, so yeah that's kind of what i was thinking maybe you got involved with somebody who was a player and that kind of put you on the defensive and even though you have a lot of options you haven't kind of chosen any of them because um maybe you're like still trying to heal from heartbreak or um yeah, well, heal from heartbreak from something and that has taken up your time. And now you're kind of a little bit like prove it, you know, if you are given this love offer, prove it. And I'm going to watch your actions, not just your words. I applaud that behavior, by the way. Yes. So we have the seven of wands here. Yeah, you're a little bit defensive. And by the way, can't help but notice the haircut is a little bit echoing here. And I love that cut. I think it's fun. I think it's a uh, Maybe some people might not feel like it's very feminine, but whatever you do, you <laughs> so you might have like different colored hair. You might be perceived again as like just being really different, very polished in your own way, like sporting your own look and not caring what other people think. And definitely like you can defend yourself. So if you have endured like a severe heartbreak that you had a hard time getting over, this message is definitely for you because you have all the tools to be able to defend yourself. So you don't have to be defensive. You could be attentive, aware, um, <clears throat> listening and watching everything. And those things are great, but defensive, I guess would not be so great. And once again, I do struggle in that area, 
but here we are growing together, hopefully. So we have the two of swords here. There's a situation. I'm not laughing. I'm so sorry. I hate when people do that. And here I go doing it. Here I go doing it. So you, you've got the stalemate. So this situation right here that maybe broke your heart. Somebody offered you love and they were a scallywag and um, you're at a stalemate. Maybe there's like no communication, but you have, I feel like, um, with her white dress, I always um, associate that with like purity. And I feel like you have like really pure motives, but you are definitely not willing to open up that heart chakra any longer. Um, you are going because her blindfold is white as well. And strictly on what you hear spirit communicating. Um, and maybe, well, there's a lot of like, is that pink-ish clouds, I guess? I don't know. Maybe there could be some dreaming about each other here. I don't know. That's a possibility. Okay, yes. Ace of Swords. Spirit saying, yeah, that definitely is. Um, and maybe both of your crown chakras are opening. So whoever betrayed you could be somebody who maybe wants to communicate with you, bring you another cup of love, or kind of explain themselves, or whatever the case may be, after a long period of time with no communication. And the Ace of Swords is like, I want to bring you clarity. I want to best out on you, Clarity. I owe you that Clarity. And it's coming from this cloud. So this could happen like, I don't want to, I heard blindsight you. And it's hard to blindsight you. It's like, I feel like you see a lot. Um, you know a lot. You have a lot of intuition, I'm feeling. <clears throat> yeah, but they're kind of wanting to come back. That's weird. Okay. Uh, King of Pentacles. Somebody who actually wants to put in the steps, the steps toward you. Take all the steps to come towards you in a correct manner. They're not going to bring you a lot of dreams, a lot of illusion, a lot of talk and no walk. This is a person who actually wants to bring you like truth and um, and show you that they mean business by their actions. You know, I feel like you've had a lot of people kind of talk the talk and that's just, I, feel, I saw in my mind's eye somebody yawning. They're like, yep, I've heard it before. It's like, go ahead and continue talking. We can all talk and be exhausted with our own talking, but if there's nothing behind it, that becomes very evident very soon into any kind of connection, relationship, or situationship. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. I <laughs> King of Pentacles here, this one person, they want to look good. They want to smell good for you. They want their hair on point, and they want to bring their pentacles to you. And it's not about money. It's about, look, I'm going to bring the tangibles. It's like, I really want to court you. Um, I had somebody tell me, yeah, well, I put in the effort. And I kind of laughed because I'm like, you put in the effort. You asked me to meet you somewhere um, when you had you know, a timeout with the guys and it was nowhere near me. Like there was no effort. It was just, let's meet at the same place and, and see how it goes. And there was never like an offer to kind of, Hey, let me come to you. It, and then conversely, how, that's not the word. Well, anyways, on the flip side, I had someone else, um, someone else who has been trying to date me for a really long time. <laughs> And he's super sweet and he's super good looking. And um, basically this guy is just a lot younger than I am. And he's like, look, I'll come, I'll pick you up. I'll, I'll drive to your city, I don't care. And he, he made like many different offers. I mean, if anybody was eligible, it would be this person, this person who's like, look, I'll come get you and then I'll bring you back home or I'll, you know, he made every effort and every um, concession and and continue to try. So I really, really appreciate that um, versus people that just like give you mouth service, <laughs> lip service. So I feel like this, my point, so sorry, I digress. My point is that this King of Pentacles is wanting to come towards you with like a real offer. And it's like, hey, I'd love to take you out in the night of town or I'd love to meet up with you and whatever and this is a tangible thing this person has thought long and hard about it and they actually will take the steps and with the rainbow i think that um it's just kind of like maybe this person's had a dream about doing that and it could be the same person for some of you guys but this could be a new energy as well <clears throat> nice now look at this this is how you are coming across you are super confident you are embodying your own beauty your own standards, your own ideas, because honestly, I mean, this Aphrodite, she is incredibly stunning, but she doesn't fit like a standard template, especially with like all of this going on here. I don't know. I think it's really cool. And I love um, the hair and the whole nine yards, but 
she looks like no one but herself and i feel like you embody those qualities you are okay by yourself you're not looking for like a paycheck from someone or someone to pick up your bills or someone to buy you a bag or somebody to float your financial whatevers i feel like you've got this you've got um, a good income coming or you're like a good saver and or you're a good investor i don't know your situation but regardless i feel like you have something already established and you can welcome people in and say hey welcome to my garden and that's not a euphemism but it could be um you know come on in and i invite you and look at all these things that i grew and i love to do and i'm in touch with nature and i love my home and um i'm really comfortable in my own skin or you could shut the gate and say <laughs> <laughs> not a chance so I think that this is entirely up to you but I love how you're embodying your power and um yeah that is just super cool so embody your power more trust yourself more what else do we need to do messages to get you through tough times if you had a dry spell okay this is no joke but go ahead and start cleaning up the cobwebs of your house <laughs> if you have any spiders that have made any little you know things in your home then take care of that and say to yourself yeah i'm removing all the cobwebs and you know what that means but um uh, you know, I'm ready and, and mentally kind of prepared. I'm ready for a relationship. Um, I'm ready for someone special in my life. I'm ready for somebody who is true and uh, staying open-hearted and not defensive. Messages to get you through. Tough times. Pile number two. Show me now. I forgot to pull these two cards because all those fell out. Leo, the extrovert. Okay, you know, and I kind of a little bit disagree with that because I'm a Leo, but I don't really feel like I'm more of an introvert for sure. But anyways, what is it called? An ambervert? I don't know. But um, Leo, the extrovert. So this can be a Leo or this could be saying embody the Leo uh, qualities and the visionary Aquarius. Very cool. So maybe somebody's a Leo and somebody's an Aquarius, but the way through this time is just to get out there a little bit more, open yourself up a little bit more, be a little bit more extroverted, even if you're an introvert, if you are really embodying this romantic love, um, not only loving yourself, but be a little bit more visible with who it is that you are, what it is that you want. Um, and I guess I'd be lecturing myself at this point in time too. <laughs> yeah but uh maybe some of you guys are like me that you do a lot of hiding and you just stay home and um you work and that's pretty much it so it's time to cut that out if you are looking for love the visionary yeah i would think that um even using like um creative visualization would really help but having a vision of what this would look like like what the ideal partnership to you would look like because we already established that you are doing well by yourself like it's not a need it's a want and so Aphrodite doesn't need anybody it's a desire and so whatever it is that you desire just get really clear on what that is because I feel like that part could be a little bit murky with this cloudiness over here um and make sure that it agrees with your emotional equilibrium like that it's echoed by an emotional hell yes pile number three that's what you want so i feel like when you kind of explore that a little bit about yourself and you start doing manifestation things like that things will work quickly for you and i'm feeling like one more card for you Pile number three, if you're liking this kind of reading, like, share, comment, subscribe, drop me a line, let me know what you're thinking. Otherwise, I'm just wild child out here doing whatever it is that I want to do. Messages to get you through these tough times for pile number three. Pile number three, last message. And show me now. The three of wands. Three of Wands could be waiting, waiting for your ships to come in. But I also feel, even though this is not the Empress, I feel like it's a nod to abundance, the Empress. I feel like you could actually meet someone or if you allow someone to take some steps towards you, this King of Pentacles would gladly take some steps towards you. Um, concrete steps and make things happen. 
So that would be one idea, but this is, you know, kind of waiting for your ships to come in, looking at Daddy Saturn and seeing what practicals do you need to kind of put, um, what kind of boundaries, what kind of, what, how are things going to be looking for you? Decide what it is that you want. Um, for example, if you are deciding, yeah, I'd love a partner, but I don't want to live with anybody. I want them to have their own house. I'll have my own place, that kind of a thing. That's a thing too. So make sure that you are clear on your intention. But now is the time to kind of set intention and then wait for the great results. And um, I feel like you can even use smoke to bring about your vision. So that is what I have for you. Pile number three, much love to you. Thank you so much for your time. And until next time, namaste.